So we all know the Toronto condo story. At first it was, who's gonna live in these small little shoe boxes? Then it became, wow, people are actually buying these things? Maybe I should start investing too. Today it's become, how much does it cost to buy a condo? Well, it makes sense because the average detached home now is around a million dollars. And with the government's new and stricter policies on mortgage lending and stricter criteria for young and new home buyers, it's becoming a new reality for some of these people to downgrade their expectations and maybe purchase something that's right for them now. So those new realities are sinking in now. And I think it was actually a great move and a smart move by the government to do so to help people be a little bit more in control of their finances versus being house poor and buying a house and not being able to fill it with furniture. And last month, there was actually a very interesting stat that came out which showed that condos were actually up 12% in 2016 compared to last year in the same month of October. Now, we hadn't seen double digit growth in condominiums in probably a few years, I would say. But of course, the question now becomes, will we continue to see this carryover effect of demand for condominiums in 2017? So AKA, are we gonna see another condo comeback? Well. I can't tell you that for sure, but I think the signs are clearly pointing in that direction. If I could tell you exactly what's going to happen in the real estate market, then I wouldn't be in this car filming silly videos for you. Just kidding, guys. I really enjoy this. Home prices are probably still going to continue to keep pace or continue to keep going up, making it more and more affordable. In fact, sometimes it actually has a backlash effect, especially for younger home buyers who feel like, you know, this is something that I can't afford anyways. And so a lot of them will just probably start moving their demand towards more core downtown areas because they don't want to have their lifestyle affected, but they want to still be in the market and still be able to carry some of that momentum that's going on. Besides, now you don't have to stop your Tuesday salsa lessons with Jose. Olé. And another point that I should highlight is that when you purchase a condo and you want to do some customizations, some renovations and so forth, if you were to drop 50 to hundred thousand dollars into that condo, you could do a really, really amazing job. And it could look like a customized bespoke home for you versus buying a home that needs renovations. Uh, it still needs some work. You might be able to dig out a basement. Maybe you might be able to finish a basement and you could probably remove some asbestos or something like that. Basically, you know, with 50 to a hundred thousand dollars in renovations, it's not going to go very far if you're buying a, an older house. And of course, if you're buying something that's completely finished, renovated and turnkey, you can expect that you're going to get into a pretty crazy bidding war and you're going to have to probably get a much bigger mortgage in order to afford that place. So if you guys are thinking of investing or buying a condo and you're not exactly sure if it makes sense as an investment, whether there's appreciation potential or whether you think that this is going to have good resale value in the future, please be sure to give me a call. I have lots of experience with condos. That's how I started in this business, helping people buy, sell, lease and manage their properties. And I can definitely tell you which ones are on my preferred list of condominiums that are good purchasing options for next year. So thanks again for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you like this video and I hope I can help you deliver lots of value when it comes to investing in condominiums in Toronto. So until next time, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. So I think there's some incredible opportunities in the condo market today. Uh, I haven't really been able to say that over the past couple of years just because uh, it wasn't a, actually a great, great investment uh, in my opinion. But now I think we're starting to see a bit of a comeback in that area. It's kind of like fashion trends, guys. Uh, these things, they come and they go. But I think 2017, uh, one of my stronger predictions is that condos are going to do very, very well. And uh, we're definitely seeing it start in the core. So if you have any questions about investing in condominiums in Toronto, please don't be shy to give me a shout. I'd be happy to help you. And I've got lots of lots of experience in this area.